On Tuesday, the Building Bridges Initiative Advisory Task Force continued with its Citizen Engagement Forum. The Auditor General, Edward Uko, the Kenya National Union of Teachers and the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission were among those invited to present their proposals as the task force continues to collect opinion across the country. The Auditor General told the Building Bridges Task Force that the delinking of the head of state and the head of government would help inject effective oversight. Now, how are you going to start telling the head of state that your most important person is not doing what you think they are doing? Uko arguing that to safeguard and promote the independence of his office, resources of the Office of the Auditor General must be determined at the highest level. The Kenya National Union of Teachers also pushed for a constitutional review where it said only an all-inclusive government will help unite the country. Is it possible that in this country, even the smallest tribe, the El Molo, can produce a president one, one time in, this, in, in the history of existence of our nation? We need to get out of this. Since the pact between President Kenyatta and opposition leader Raila Odinga, commonly referred to as the handshake, there has been a crusade against corruption with the judiciary standing accused of stalling efforts to end the vice. And on Wednesday, ESCC continued with its push for a more united front, saying there has to be more commitment and goodwill in the fight. So as a task force, um, I would pray that we look at how we get leadership in our society. Because once they are at the top, they then frustrate any efforts that will intend to remove them from there. The Building Bridges Initiative Advisory Task Force is expected to take the Citizen Engagement Forum to Garissa and Isiolo counties before retreating to write its report. For Channel 1 News, I am Edward Kabasa.